El Paso Community College and the Valle Verde Library present Seniors Going Digital. Programming is made possible in part by the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Today's programming will be on YouTube videos. Seniors Going Digital is now also on a new format. We're here on EPCC TV and have all our programs archived on the EPCC Library website. Library Research Guides titled Seniors Going Digital. My name is Kati Valquierra Piñon. I am a librarian at the Valle Verde campus and an assistant professor. Today's programming is on, you guessed it, it's on YouTube. For Seniors Going Digital, it'll be on how to find YouTube videos, how to search for videos by category or topic that are of interest to you, and lastly, how to create an account with YouTube in case you too would like to create a YouTube video of your own. YouTube, what is it, who created it, and where it is now? YouTube is an American online video sharing platform headquartered in San Bruno, California. Three former PayPal employees, Chad Hurley, Steve Shen, and Jai Kareem created the service in February of 2005. Google bought the site in November of 2006 for $1.65 billion. YouTube now operates as one of Google's subsidiaries. Thank you for joining us. On the right-hand side of the screen is our face-to-face -face instruction before COVID-19. On the left-hand side of the screen is our new normal. Please join us on Seniors Going Digital. We will keep you up to date with today's digital age. It's now broadcasting on TV channel 13-2 and Spectrum Cable channel 1301. You can access this and other videos on the EPCC library website at epcc.libguides.com forward slash seniors underscore going underscore digital. The short video clip you're about to see is on one of the co-founders of YouTube. He and two other pals from uh, PayPal, as a matter of fact, decided to create this video as a dating site. But if you have ever seen any YouTube videos, it is more. So let's hear the clip, which is about maybe 10 seconds long, but it has been viewed over 150 million times as of March of 2021. Before I begin the clip, I'll let you know that it has a couple of fun facts, which is the original intent, like I said, was a dating site. But let's see how it started. And then after this clip, you'll be able to see where it's gotten from here to there. All right, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. And the cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's, that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Again, that is the first video ever aired, and we will get you started on YouTube and what it could do for you in today's digital age. So that fun fact was how YouTube began. Let's see where YouTube is in today's digital age. If you Google it, you'll see something like what just appeared on the screen. It says YouTube and it has a search bar so you could look through it and find music. You can find sports, movies and shows, fashion and beauty, learning, news, gaming. And this is what it looks like you put in your your search. I put in Jenny Rivera and if I would, I would play it and it would give me the entire collection of Jenny Rivera. So that's how great it is as a tool as far as entertainment and looking for stuff that you like and then just using YouTube to keep you posted on what's going on in today's world. The first thing I am going to do is just a really quick Google search on YouTube. What that brings me is to 
a home page and here you can go to explore and it gives you categories trending then there's music gaming news fashion and beauty learning and then live and sports i'll go through a couple of these so you could know what's out there and um, i'll start with trending so basically what that is is what's popular right now and let me see well there's one by taylor swift i think i'll look into i like that one and let me see Musky. i don't know what that is but it's an official video i don't know who that person is and then the largest explosion ever i don't know what that's about but let's see i do know this so let's see what it offers the first thing you need to do is is know that you are going to get ads like this one and what you want to do is skip them once you skip them what you clicked on will will appear or let's see so i don't want to subscribe right now and i do not want to join them but here is what i'm looking at more ads but don't get discouraged you just skip them and then you get what you want So that's one of my favorite songs. And what you do is you go to the menu bar right here, the one I'm pointing at, and you click on it and you can go back home so you could do some more searches. And then what you do is you could go back to explore. What you're doing is looking for the different tabs. I'm gonna skip gaming because that's not something I do very much, but you may want to. I will click on news and then movies and shows and then maybe a couple other things so you could see what's in here. So when you go to news, what you could get is you scroll down and you select what you want. So you're going to get postings of the most recent things and right now what's going on is the watch live and that's the, the trial. Give me some excuse not to get arrested or is this person experiencing some other crisis, right? Yes. Right. right. And ultimately, in terms of an arrest, that's one of the things that an officer has to ascertain, right? Yes, sir. And um, again, when you've arrested people, have you had people um, plead with you not to arrest them? Yes, sir. Have you had people... Um, say they were having a medical emergency yes sir would you have you had people say i can't breathe yes sir so that's probably something i would watch and it's very interesting but i'm going to stop that and give you a couple more features so you could get familiar with it in this section i selected music and i got a screenshot of the youtube music section and it's just so you could get a quick look of how it could be set up a little maybe differently what you could do is you could do something like this where you click on it and then just look for mu music videos at random or you could just put in the search bar like i showed earlier and put a certain artist like i put jenny rivera and it'll come up with all her songs and then you select your favorite one and that's pretty much how this works. Next, I will show you my favorite song. Tenemos que hablar de mujer. No sé cómo entraste, no sé cuándo fue, 
No sé qué le diste para atarantarlo Lo que sí te digo es que aquí somos tres Y este triangulito no me está gustando And just like I search for the music videos, you can search for movies. In this case, what I did is I took a screenshot so you could see what it looks like. And what it does is it just gives you random selection of movies. But like I said, what you could do is enter in the search bar the movie you are actually looking for. Some of these movies are available to watch free of charge and for the entirety of the movie. Some of these will tell you that they're for rent and there's other options that you could select from YouTube and I'll discuss them later on in this program. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? I enjoyed the show. I also I write a song. Our uh, lead singer just quit, but then you'll need someone new. I love the way you move on stage. The whole room belongs to you. Don't you see what you could be? No one will play us on the radio. We need to get experimental. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. You just concentrate on the audition tonight, huh? In this area, it's under learning and it's just some random things I may have put on the search bar and it appears to be on uh, learning. Some of this is on literature, some of this is on short stories and some of this is on math but in either case this tool can be used for pretty much anyone uh, that wants to learn anything even whether it be history or like i said literature science anything you might be interested in you can find here this one is on sports and it just gives you highlights on whatever you like or are interested in Second game for Aldridge with the Nets. Nikola Vucevic's first home game at the United Center as a member of the Chicago Bulls. Here is Blake Griffin. Nice job by Sadoransky. Irving chasing Sato with the two. Levine sets up Vucevic. And that's the Nets at the Bulls full game highlights on April 4th, 2021. Another thing you can do is create a YouTube channel of your own and uh, in my case I collect personal and work related videos. I'll show you a little bit of both so you could see how it could work for you if you decide to create a YouTube channel. YouTube operates as one of Google's subsidiaries. Seniors Going Digital has a video on how to create a Gmail account. You can find it at our EPCC library website search for research guides, and look for Seniors Going Digital. There is a repository of videos under the Workshops tab, or you can use the URL written at the bottom of the screen to go directly to the Seniors Going Digital Research Guides, and it is epcc.libguides.com forward slash seniors underscore going underscore digital.
At YouTube, we offer a few options to amplify your video and music experience. YouTube Music Premium is a paid music membership specifically for the YouTube Music app. YouTube Premium includes all the benefits of YouTube Music Premium, plus benefits on YouTube and other YouTube apps. Let's start with YouTube Music Premium. As a member, you can listen to millions of songs and videos without ads. Download songs and videos to your phone to listen offline. Listen to music even if you're using other apps. Or listen to music on your Google Home or Chromecast Audio. To subscribe to YouTube Music Premium, visit youtube.com forward slash music premium. You may be eligible to start a free trial, so check it out. Now let's talk about YouTube Premium Membership. In addition to all the benefits of YouTube Music, you'll gain benefits across YouTube and other YouTube apps. You can watch millions of videos without ads, download videos and playlists to your phone to watch offline, continue playing videos on your phone or tablet while using other apps or when your screen is off, and access to all YouTube original series and movies. To sign up for YouTube Premium, visit youtube.com forward slash premium. You'll either see an offer to try it for free, or if you're already a Music Premium member, see an option to upgrade your membership. And that's it. Subscribe to our channel for more YouTube tips and tricks. Subscriptions are YouTube channel favorites. I will show you my favorites in just a little bit in the program you will see what I have selected and that's one of the advantages of, of creating a YouTube channel is you could start adding things to your channel that you are really interested in and then they are easily accessible to you. To begin I will type in YouTube com and then we'll look at some of the options blurs the subscriptions okay let's look at the subscriptions and see what you can do in the subscriptions are really a repository of your choices in my case because I work for community college some of the the ones that I subscribe to our community college, as you can see right here. And then my children like Marvel or Marvel Entertainment, which includes the Avengers. And there's movie clips and I like the Allen show. So it's one of the things I subscribe to. So it, it keeps them in a very neat place where you could just go and look them up. Oh, and then this is another one of my son's favorites. Let's skip the ad. Welcome to Queen the Greatest, in which we celebrate 50 of Queen's most extraordinary songs, performances, and achievements. No such celebration would be complete without featuring what is, for many people, the band's greatest album, A Night at the Opera. Let's go back to the menu bar and like I said, we went over to the home, the home feature, the explore feature with the different tabs you could click on, the subscriptions I just showed you, and then there's a library. And basically what that is, is again, a repository. Um, these are some of my projects, my personal projects. This one's on seniors going digital seniors going digital so these all these top three are mine this one i'd like you to see let us show you how to get what you need from home from doctor's appointments to online shopping to staying connected with family and friends and finding reliable government sources like the irs and the social security administration stay tuned for upcoming programs This one is to buy, Raya. Wonder Woman is to buy or rent. Let's see what happens if I click on it, on buy or rent. 
So this is Wonder Woman. If I were to rent it, I would have to use on my Gmail account. And I will click on Next. I don't think I want to rent it, but if I wanted to rent it, how would it work? Let's see. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can rent a movie on the Google Play app. So the first thing you need to do is launch the Google Play app. And if you don't know where that is on your phone, you can go from your home screen on your Android device, swipe down from near the top of the screen, and then you can type in Play Store. And there you can see underneath apps, it says Play Store. You can tap on Play Store. And then you can see at the bottom bar, it says Games, Apps, Movies, and Books. You want to tap on Movies. And then you want to search for in the search bar at the top the movie that you want to go ahead and rent now keep in mind that not all movies will be available in every single country so you'll just have to search and see if the movie is available if it's not available it's going to say wish list the the movie instead of rent the movie when you go ahead and tap on it so i'm going to search for a movie that i want to rent so let me just say i want to rent back to the future tap on search now it brings me back all the search results for that search term so i want to rent back to the future three for example so i'll tap on that it's going to tell you the movie title the year and then the price so you can rent in hd and you also have the option to buy the movie for a fixed price if you want to so i'm going to go ahead and tap rent hd and that's the currency in my country but it's going to show the amount in your currency so i'm going to tap on rent hd and that's going to bring up the payments page. Now, if you have your credit card connected to your Google Play account, you can go ahead and pay with your credit card. If you don't have it connected, you can connect it. But I have some Google Play credits available, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. So all I need to do to rent this movie is tap on Rent HD. I'll just need to verify this purchase. It says processing and it says payment successful. Now it says the rental will expire in 30 days or 48 hours after you start watching, whichever comes first. So that's good information to know and you can choose it to watch it straight away or you can save it for later by tapping not now now to go ahead and find the movie that when you want to go ahead and watch it what you need to do is go back to the home page of the google play store tap on the three horizontal stripes at the top left then you want to tap on at the bottom open movies app and there's the movie there and if it's not showing there you can tap on library in the middle at the bottom and then that's going to show you the movies that you have are still available for you to watch that you've rented so that is how you rent a movie on the google play app as a quick recap as we're ending our program i would like to go over some of the features that i presented in this program this is the explore button that i had mentioned earlier once you explore it gives you the trending the music the categories that you're looking at gaming news, movies and shows, fashion and beauty, learning, and then live TV as I showed with uh, George Floyd trial and sports. I showed some clips of highlights that you can look at. All of these are put in a category so that you can easily go through them and navigate into the ones you like. Here are the subscriptions and I, I discussed how some of these will be on here because I subscribe to them. I love Tech Boomers. It shows me tips and tricks on how to do things on video. And then lastly, we talked about the advantages of having a Gmail account. And we talked about the free version of YouTube which I have and I've been using throughout this program. And then there's a paid subscription. And back to subscriptions, even if you have a free account, you can have your subscriptions. It, there's just a difference of a paid subscription and we went over that earlier in this presentation. The last thing I'm going to do, because when I started the video, I was talking about the news portion of YouTube. And uh, while I was creating this video, they found, um, they had a live verdict and I'm going to show you YouTube's version. I'm going to skip the ads. System got it right and the jury 
defender accountable. That's not a guarantee, but with a verdict this quick on all three counts, this is not a split verdict because they announced they have unanimous verdicts on all counts. I would be shocked to see anything but three guilty verdicts on the three charges. Glenn, remind our viewers, if you will, as well, we're talking about three uh, charges here, as you mentioned, second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and manslaughter. Could you just sort of talk through our viewers uh, what the differences are here and, and what they should be watching for as they read the decision on, on each of those well, the interesting uh, particular part, uh, charges? Sure. The interesting part is none of these crimes require an intentional killing. The most serious of the three, second-degree murder, can be proved by an unintentional killing committed during the course of a felony. And that's why I thought prosecutor Steve Schleicher's argument was so strong when he said because of the excessive force, what Derek Chauvin did was a felony assault. And that is what makes it second degree murder. I hope you found this video informational, and I also hope you continue to join the Valle Verde Library as we present our Seniors Going Digital programs. For more information on our library guides, it's a repository of all our videos you can find them on EPCC Library Research Guides under Seniors Going Digital. The videos that we have put together are on cyber safety, email or electronic mail, online shopping, texting with emojis, medical and e-government searches, FaceTime and Skype, YouTube, Instagram and Snapchat, online dating sites and library searches are a combination of our work put together for seniors going digital. Lastly, here's a schedule of EPCC TV. All I did was put in EPCC TV scheduling as seen here. Let's click on that. And I scroll down and it, it is for the spring all the way through May 2021. And I'm looking for us, and here we are on Seniors Going Digital. And we are scheduled for Saturdays. Let's see, Saturdays at, it appears that it's 9 in the morning. Between 9 and 9.30 is when we are scheduled to come on. If you're interested in watching us, you could go through our EPCC TV schedule and find us, and again, I see seniors going digital on Saturdays from 9 to 9.30. But if you're interested in looking at it more closely for other programming from EPCC TV, just go to EPCC TV scheduling and you'll find calendar like this. That is the end of this program on YouTube. Thank you for joining us on Seniors Going Digital programming is brought to you by the El Paso Community College Valle Verde Library. Programming is also made possible in part by the Institute of Museum and Library Services.